Hello, my name is Grace. Today I am going to read the Bible story. Yeah. Yes, today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is a Roaring Rescue, Daniel and the Lion's Dead. Let's read. God's people disobeyed him, so he let their enemies take them. Into captivity, they destroyed Jerusalem and carried away many of Jewish to their own country Babylon so God's people disobeyed God so he let enemies to take them over they destroyed Jerusalem and carried away many people to Babylon I didn't know there was a uh, hammer lizard, right? This lizard? Daniel was one of the Jewish in Babylon. He trusted God and prayed to him three times a day. God blessed Daniel and he became a powerful leader in that country. So Daniel was also there and he was Jew Jewish and God blessed Daniel. Daniel prayed to God three times a day. And he became a powerful leader. No one was powerful than Daniel. Some leaders were jealous of Daniel, so they made a new rule. People could only pray to King Durex. Whoever obeyed would be disobeyed would be thrown into Zion's lap. The king agreed. So Sorry, that's my father. So, some leaders were jealous at Daniel because I think they have things like that. He's Jewish. Why? He's so powerful. Hmm. Like, Dad, you actually people can be jealous, but we should not. So there, the religious and the leaders were jealous at Daniel, so. He said, people all can only pray to King Durex, and whoever disobey will be thrown into the dying step. Daniel prayed to God three times a day, right? 
why it does not happen. God plus Daniel made him powerful leader in Babylon. True. Daniel still prayed God and was arrested by Darius. Was King was sad. He liked Daniel. He realized he didn't been. He had been tricked, but he couldn't change the new rule. Daniel was thrown into the lion's death. So Daniel knew the rule, but he still prayed to God. That's very good. If I am Daniel, I will, I will be afraid to. Pray. So, but King knew that he was free, but he couldn't change the new rule. The lion, Daniel, has thrown into the lion's den. Rod and crept up to Daniel. Then an angel arrived. It was God who sent him. The angel shut the lion's mouth. Daniel spent the night there unharmed. So first time, lions roared and crept to Daniel. An angel came. God's an angel. So lion shut their mouth, and Daniel has sent the knife and the lion's dead. Daniel arrested and thrown into the lion's den because he prayed to God? Yes, we should pray to God. At daybreak, Darius went to see Daniel was alive. God sent an angel to save me. Daniel said the king was drilled. Daniel was pulled out from the den. Then, so King was worried, and he saw, and Daniel was alive. So Daniel came out to the dying lion's den. Then King Dirk had Daniel's enemies thrown into the den. The lions grumbled them up. King Dirk told everyone in his kingdom to honor Daniel's powerful living God. So King Dirk said, "You must. They must." Listen to Daniel's God, the one true God, right?
question when Daniel was thrown into the lion's den. God's angel protects him from what kind of animal? Number one, donkey. Number two, an eagle. Number three, the lion. No, the lion was correct. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy it? And next time I will also get another story. Then let's see you next time. Bye!